that? What are those idiots doing now? Well, it has to do with Legos, but Dumpsville isn't involved this time. The humor sounds just as retarded. That's just because Butter's involved. Dumpsville and Butters share the same brain cell. Alright, I know I'm just digging my own grave, but Butters. And look at this. What is- uh, oh, oh my. Right? Butters! What? Two weeks of it. Bro, what, what dumb shit are you doing now? We're talking about Ninjago. Don't engage. Don't engage. Do not engage. What's Ninjago? Eat shit and die, you stupid horse. And then we'll jump back no, to it again. No, 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 no. Ninjago is some utterly amazing show I grew up with. It's about Lego ninjas doing Lego ninja things, like fighting snakes. Only ninja stuff. Only ninja stuff. Alright, so is it's like that stupid movie on your shelf, Clutch Powers? Yes, but that's for another day. Ninjago is important to me specifically because it's from my childhood. I did do reaction videos on it a while back with Libby here, so we figured we'd return to it once again. That way I can leech views off Libby. Yeah! Hey, wait a minute! So we're gonna go through the show episode by episode and take you along with us. Today we're gonna be tackling the snake season. So Ninjago actually started off with two pilot episodes. It centers around Wu making the ninjas solve his problems. At the start we see Kai being a below average blacksmith as Sensei Wu shows up to call him slurs. <laughs> Know how he fucked up the sword that bad. I, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Too bad. Thought I'd find something special here. 90% of the show is just Sensei Wu shitting on everybody around him. Those two are an old married couple, and I will die on that hill. I like how they tried to make Mia some strong, independent woman, but she also got kidnapped five minutes after being introduced, and also like ten more times throughout the entire series. Once Nia's kidnapped like the strong, independent woman she is, Kai throws a piss baby fit. And what did you do, fall over? Wu then drags Kai to the monastery to train, and after a while he gets attacked by the Cosby crew. And this! And this! Oh no. How do you do that? <laughs> Look what color I am! Wait a minute, I'm still black. Cole thought becoming the law would free him from racism. Cole was wrong. After that, Wu decides to make his children carry his cart up the mountain. Alright guys, let's chop sake this lemonade stand. Excuse me? What? What does that even mean? I've searched numerous databases and analyzed thousands of research papers in the last 10 seconds. Conclusion. It's stupid random bullshit. There's no time to waste. In a rush. Dang, it's almost like his sister's kidnapped or something. He's worried about her trauma cap. For what? It's when you've been so traumatized that people breathing wrong on you will make you cry, like Spritzy. Right, Spritz? It's almost like there's a dragon or some shit. Go. Hey, guys! It's just like the training course! In what sense is that anything like the training course? Where? Where does any of this line up with the training course? If you squint really hard, it looks like it. Just like how if you squint really hard, you're not really shooting a civilian child. You're just shooting a target. What happened to you? Uh... It's almost like there was a dragon when you grabbed the scythe. Oh, come on, Lucy, don't blame them. The dragon was so well hidden. Hmm. Well, I'd say this episode is kind of weak, to be honest. So, Libby, what do you rate it? Two and a half gay skeletons. That's not even a rating system. Now, this episode simply starts with the ninjas sailboating like a bunch of hooligans, looking for the shurikens of ice. In what way are they hooligans? We've been drifting aimlessly for miles. Sensei's wisdom is beyond my own. Or he's just a dick! 
Oh my god, it's almost like there's a dragon there. Shortly after, they make their way to the next temple, but decide to camp out for the night. Not only do they camp, but we get something so steamingly hot. Oh, yes. I despise this. One out of five sex. No, zero. What? I, th they're camping right next to it, and they didn't grab it? They didn't know they were that close, but Wu did. He's just being a dick. Worry. I'm right here, brother. And what a shock. Garmadon lured Kai out to buttfuck him with his own shadow. Oh, am I being So Kai reached the trauma cap instead of Nia. What a bitch. Once Sensei Wu shows up to save his child slaves, he realizes his other child slaves are being goblin slayered. He's only holding one shuriken. Imagine him just awkwardly walking back to get it like, Hey, sorry guys, I forgot the other thing. Just ignore me. Not let them escape. Oh my god, it's almost like there's a dragon. Oh hey, there's a dragon. God! That's not even the same color. Oh my god, he wiped his ass with it first. Great. The one place no mortal can cross over. But the Mexicans can. Hold up! Nothing gets through without inspection. It's the skeleton TSA. I shall dispose of the poop rag. I promise, I didn't edit that. That I did. Hey, it's Grievous versus Obi-Wan. Bring me the four weapons. He's still missing one of the shurikens. We then end off the episode with some good old fashioned family racism. He's gone. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? What kind of, even I'm offended by this one. But he will return. Why does it keep going? Oh my god! So this episode starts off the first season, not the first season which were the first two episodes, but the first season with the many episodes. They think Lord Garmadon has returned, but... It is I, Lord Garmadon! Little Piss Baby has arrived. You are ready. God, imagine robbing a town and they have the gall to get mad at you. They don't get mad if you point a gun at them. They just beg not to die. What did you do? Man, don't you just hate it when you're walking all alone in a raging snowstorm at nine years old and you somehow stumble across an ancient tomb that no one else has found in hundreds of years but you? I hate when that happens. Well, I lived in Equestria. Twilight and her friends did shit like that every other Tuesday. This is what it must take for you to train, then so be it. This is what happens when you play Fortnite! Mmm, gender roles. So after delivering the anti-venom, they live happily ever after. This roof isn't big enough for the four of us. Correction, this roof isn't big enough for him. This is where they get mad at Zane for acting like a short bus kid. Liver and toads, Rocky, your favorite! Hey Rocky, have this treat the size of your fingernail. <laughs> this is how I feel whenever I wear my thigh highs around my family. Zane, you're wearing a... Even I wouldn't wear that! Yeah, girls are gross. But you don't like guys. But you, but you don't like girls. But what are you? An average Californian resident? Yeah. Oh, we waited until now to do this? Cause he's a dick, we've been over this. Bird, none of this would have happened. Hi. No, Sensei, he's right. Because of you, my high score has been deleted. How's Jay gonna stream Fortnite now? Jay is just a less successful Johnny Cage when you think about it. How dare you? It has been at least eight years, and I will never be over the fact that they tied only one of his wrists. You're gonna have to let that one go. I will never let it go! Yes, Zane. We would love for you to make dinner. But I already made it. Come. Edna, it was a pleasure hearing about Jay's first potty time. Oh, if you thought that was good, wait until you hear the story about the time I caught him kissing his pillow. Do you think Jay has a body pillow? Yeah. 
of Nia. To migrate east to the spirit coves for their transformation. Where did you stick that thermometer? No wonder the dragon's so sad. I think we make a pretty good duet. Damn it, he's listening to Evanescence. Damn, they really went crazy with the vehicles in this one. They had to get all those toys in somehow. Wake up, Zane. I know where you come from. How come no one awakened me? We didn't want to encroach on your garment on wet dream. Oh, you know Floyd? It's Lloyd. Whatever. Pythe Vore comes worth. <laughs> Ha! Ah, a funny joke from two years ago that... God, it's so stupid. <laughs> that place is a cesspool for the crooked and the misbehaved. Jesus Christ, Jay, those are children. So, I'm still working out the kinks on that. Anyone have any other good ideas? How? It's a scythe! What do you mean you have to maintain you the scythe vehicle? So the trap is just dust, and then he falls down? Yes. And that is why Jack the Rabbit never trusts a snake. The end. Ah, uh, why have real character and development when you can just have a 30 second scene of a kid getting a book read to him? We still don't know what the best way to defeat your enemy is. It is to make them your friend. Well, technically it's a gunshot to the face, but that also works. Oh hey, it's the one where Lloyd's a little shit! That just means you suck at a game, especially since oh, Lloyd did it. Not all lessons are about fighting! I'm teaching Lloyd how to be a dick like me! So the last two tombs must be here and here! Ah, oh, you are so smart. Soup! I've been waiting for you. It's the choke me daddy stink. Look who's calling who pathetic. Pinky. I take offense to that. Oh no, it's not like you're ninjas or anything. It's not like you have vehicles that could literally fly you out of here. Or weapons. Or training. Or anything. Look at Sensei's beard! It's moving like snakes. This isn't how I remember the acid scene from Midsummer. That sounds like a great plan, but you know the hypno will screw it up! How does nobody notice the fluorescent cosplayers? Now, let's get out of here! They got captured and freed in less than a minute. It's called Plot Development, Lucy! Starting this one off, the ninja are trying to hunt down the snakes. How original. But a small faction of our slithering friends. What kind of snake vision do they have on this ship that just detects where snakes are at all times? Nia, you're here. Yeah, you just missed all the action. Damn, I wonder who the samurai is. I wonder if it's Nah. Wanna be a samurai! That kid is just walking around the park with a knife. Sorry my son stabbed you. I let him have the knife, because I'm just a Libra like that. Come on! At least drop me off at a decent arcade. Sorry, Shorty. No, you get the shitty arcade with the Mortal Kombat that has the broken joystick. And the DDR with the broken railing. Where are the fights? Where is the big show? I came here for blood! Where is my nephew? I thought you were looking after him. It's the next day and they haven't noticed that he's missing? Did he just see that he wasn't there and said, ah, it's fine. This nine-year-old will find his way back to the flying ship eventually. The Great Devourer. The Great Vorer. They all drop their weapons at the same time, in the same spot outside of the cage. You know, these ninjas aren't really that hard to beat. They kind of suck. All this time, I've been trying to protect you, and you've never needed it. You're amazing. Girl power. I'm a strong, independent woman, Kai. Ah, we'll just leave them behind. It's fine. We'll just leave the small child with the snakes. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's just Lloyd. Mm, I don't know. Maybe she... Very subtle, Kai. Dumbass. More importantly... More importantly, why did you bring back the child that was kidnapped? Oh yeah, that's what they were doing. Wow, we start with foreshadowing that Zane is a TikTok user? Why is he a TikTok user? Because he's soulless. For he was bitten by a legendary snake that would grow forever as long as it consumes. Up until this whole Great Devourer Golden Weapons thing, like... What evil things has he even done? Well, he said he hits his dad after he got bit by the snake. I hate you! That's not evil! What has he done that was evil up until the golden weapons thing? The snake is the same one the serpentine want to reawaken today. He just gets bitten by a random snake that happens to be the great devourer. That that makes sense. Woo, 
whose fault? Oh, okay, never mind. When he got bit, he got a scary voice. That's the evil thing he did. Hey, what do you make of this? Free horny. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Ninja! <laughs> Wait, so how old is Zane? Because his dad went from middle-aged man to an old, old man in that flashback. That takes a while. He has to be at least 30? So he's just a middle-aged robot man hanging around all these teenagers? Probably both. Behold, the episode where Jay is a stupid f***ing stupid f And a simp! Is someone wearing perfume? I'm severely allergic to perfume. <laughs> you told me it was men's cologne! Meh. I get them mixed up. <laughs> cool. My sister's going into anaphylactic shock. Ha! <laughs> funny prank! Jay wearing his Axe body spray is gonna kill my sister. Super funny. Hey, Jay, you should try slipping peanuts into her food next time. I'll hide the EpiPen. Maybe if you let me, I can take you to some big fancy restaurant. You know, uh, you don't have to. I'm gonna ask you out so you can cuck me in a later season. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Yet now you have the courage to come here. To Detroit! <laughs> Oh no, the ugly bastards. Oh god, they're boring him through their bellies. That's nasty. Aw, whoopsie whoopsie, I almost killed you, ooh. The perfect way to hide herpes. That's how I'd hide hickeys from my cousin. You're a funny little guy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah fun, funny gal is me, says I. Sounds like fun! You can tell that she has a good dress on because she's got the Lego hips. I'm busy, dude! Just use the other stall. But that's his masturbation stall. Ah, of course. My bad. <laughs> See, this right here is why I don't take acid before haunted houses anymore. A anymore? <gasps> so phallic to see. It is very unpleasant, yes. But the moment he leaves the bathroom, everybody decides it's time to commit a hate crime. No, <laughs> Holy crap, he's fucking dead. On another note, that snake's got some fucking cake. <laughs> oh, oh hey look, Nia got fucking kidnapped again. Send the slave child. It's okay, kid. It's a game. Just like at the arcade we abducted you from. I still can't get over the fact that you were the mysterious samurai. Is anyone else blown away like I am? Anybody else we're simping? The Blade Cup was made by this guy who collected priceless artifacts. His name was something like uh, Dutch... No, Clutch. Clutch Powers. Mm, clutch Powers. I wonder who that is. Come in. Come in. I've got a kettle of lemon honey tea on the stove right now. I cannot and will not ever be over the fact that Cole's dad is just Cole's voice actor doing a voice. Did he's not even really doing, doing a voice. voice, he just has a mustache, shot, shot, and he's talking just a little more gravelly. They really couldn't get anybody no, else in the entire cast to be Cole's dad. So they don't even try to hide it. Like, I mean, look at the mailman. He's got the same voice actor as Jay, but at least he puts effort into it. I hate this episode so much because I cannot get over this. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I get pranked. It's just a prank, bro. We just stick to the plan and keep up the charade until the trophy's revealed. Once we steal the blade cup... Hey, Cole, can you speak up a bit? Your voice isn't echoing is enough throughout town. the entire Cole, backstage. Dad? I'm, I'm gay. I can't be proud of any son who thinks stealing is right. This whole episode is very unintentionally gay-coded, and I am here for it. I can't help it if I offend anyone. Oh no, it's Ben Shapiro! Let's say you've been a bad girl. Let's say, hypothetically, you've been a naughty girl even. Okay, and if you were a naughty girl, you would also be my dirty little slut, right? Hypothetically speaking, you would be my little cum slut. Now, let's say that you're also daddy's girl. The most prestigious award, guarded by rice farmers. God damn, look at those epic dance moves. No, he did it. God, the one man I'd go straight for is that Lego announcer. Absolute Chad. They are all training while Kai is cosplaying. Kai totally has a cosplay blog on Tumblr. 
get pranked. No Not hidden potential libtards do the bitch the work. Dark. Maybe if I stand up to Lord Garmadon, I'll find my true potential and then everyone can see I'm the green ninja! Ha! Maybe if I fucking kill Garmadon, then I'll become the green cringer! You mean ninja? I know what I said. They discover the snakes keep their pet piss baby locked in a cage. One of us cheated back when we last fought. And I remember somebody being a little bitch. I defeated him! I did it! Are my eyes glowing? Uh, did I unlock my powers? Is this my true potential? Uh, 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 uh. You beat up an old man! Ha, looks like Kai fell for the trademarked Garmadon prank of I'm gonna kill you! Ha, JK, I'm not! Get pranked! Imagine naming your son Lloyd, then being sad that he's dead. I've never met anybody in my whole life named fucking Lloyd. A Venomari has a panic attack during an interrogation, and they set course to steal back the other fang blades. Zane, the venom of the Venomari can make you see things. But he's a robot. What do you think? I think. Shotgun! I can't keep up. Does a fucking front flip. You were stealing? What is he even stealing from them? They're pirated movies. Oh, yeah. Relax! Think loose! Looser than Grandma's Coocher. Ew. Mustn't look at the sissy hypnosis. Yes, bite the only part of his body that has armor on it. Seriously, they fell right into my trap. They did. Because plot. Oh dear. Oh no. Halo Combat Evolved Camo. So, Sensei Wu has a hallucination due to his laced pot. I too have dreams of snakes when I'm on the devil's lettuce, am I right, fellow kids? 420. Dumbass Lloyd gets his ass tied up by Pythor. He didn't have to hit that bag. He just did it because he's also a dick. Look, mommy, a flying ship! Oh, honey, ships don't fly, only planes. Fuck you, mommy! It's a ship! Oh no, it's the command prompt, and Pythor stole my Majora's mask for the N64! That bastard! Fuck you, mommy! Snakes! Okay, that's cool. Time to buy more Legos. Speaking of slow old men, wait, wait, what? What, what is he delivering to Ouroboros? Snake? Uh, food? Okay. Pythor sent away his 401k and is hoping his BBWE girl will bore him now. Rise, big chungus. Rise! Yeah, that's not terrifying. Ah, shit. Man's got the munchies! How's this? What's this whole lot of nothing do? How the fuck did you see that? Uh, uh, Zane's dead. He's fine. Damn, that snake fucking hates mariachi music. Well, I guess he's gonna die just for saying that. No! Boy, the dragon got fucky wuckied. I've ran every other that scenario through my servers. No? I asked everybody in my Discord server, want and they called me cringe. It's a Gushers commercial. Your analysis is incorrect. He is not here. Get pranked again, losers!